Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to be taking a look at a device called Lock Kill. And what Lock Kill is, is essentially a key blank that you can insert into a lock, um, primarily a quick set or a schleg. They make two different types of blanks. Um, but what it does is it permanently disables the lock. So if you have a situation where you're a landlord or a property owner or something like that and you need to permanently disable a lock and uh, keep that tenant out of your, your uh, rental location, you can put one of these into the lock. Um, it's got a little shear line on it, which I'll show you in a little bit um, once we get zoomed in here. But you essentially break it off into the lock um, and it permanently disables it. Um, even things like a key extractor or a pick won't be able to get the key blank out because based on the design, which you, know, you can kind of see in detail here, but I'll show you better when we get zoomed in too. Um, but it's got a 45 and a 90 degree cut in it, which essentially locks itself onto one of the pins, um, not letting it pull back out. So let's take a look at the design and, and how it works. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the uh, lock kill in depth here. So what we've got is essentially these keys that come mounted to the cards. Um, these just briefly describe what lock kill is and you know who to contact if you come across one of these. But you are going to break off this in the lock, so you're really going to lose the this part of the key as well as the card. So there's really um, not a lot of point in getting too much into that explanation. But what's important is you see the, the design here, um, that 45 degree and the 90 degree angle. And what that's doing is actually catching the pin uh, as this goes into the lock. So what I've done here is I've taken this lock cylinder. This is just a standard quick set. Um, and I've removed the top cover as well as the springs from the top. So you can actually see what's going on here as I insert um, the lock kill into the quick set lock here. So first I'm going to insert this key. This is the actual key for the lock just so you can see um, those pins moving as I'm inserting the key. Riding up and down. So basically when you insert the key the lock kill key that is, it's going to push the pins up as it goes. So the, the purpose of having the 90 degree as well as the 45 is that as um, the lock kill key goes into the lock and bypasses each pin individually, it falls down into the valley of the key, but at the same time the pin can come back out as you continue pushing the key into the lock because of that 45 degree angle cut. So you can see it's going in pushing up on all those pins and it's getting stuck because um, it's, well because it's stuck on a pin really you can't move it so um, you can see that it's not coming out of the lock no matter how hard I try it's getting bound on that pin in the back and the only way to get this off and you know the proper way to do this would be to take that line which hopefully you can see there let me show you on the Schlage key too but you see they've got that indention there and that's just a shear line so basically it's a cut that's been made on the key where you can easily snap it off so what I'm gonna do now is just take the lock I'm gonna put my finger over those pins and flip it upside down and you can see that that key now comes completely out and the pins go back down so really that's the only way to get this out even things like uh, a broken key extractor here um, this one's in particular is made by Peterson and then I've just got a generic broken key extractor. These are not going to get the key out once it snaps off in there like they normally would on a regular household lock key if you snap the key off. Um, because this design is actually pinning that back in there, it's not allowing you to pull that key blank out. The only way to get that off is either to have a locksmith drill the lock or to actually go in here and do what I'm doing and remove the springs and the pin cover and everything else and you know pop the pins out and remove the key. So it is a pretty interesting um, device. Um, again, it's just it's something that's kind of a uh, I guess more for the the landowner or the uh, landlord to quickly disable a lock to prevent a tenant from uh, gaining access before they can change the locks out. So. Um, check it out, um, lockkill.com. You can pick these up. I think they're on sale right now. They're normally 20 bucks. You can get them for 10 And again, they have both the quick set key blank and the Schlage. Those are the two most common household locks. That's why they make those. So check them out and be sure to leave any comments and questions. And thanks for watching.